Now, while the FDA continues its crackdown on illegal flavored vapes marketed to kids and teenagers, we caught up with a former congresswoman who says more needs to be done. She's calling on parents to get involved. 8 News Now anchor Kirsten Joyce has the story. These products are dangerous. Parents need to tell their kids that they're dangerous. They need to keep them away from them. Former Congresswoman Mary Bono is the chairwoman of Communities United for Smart Policy. She's been at the forefront of the fight against opioid and prescription drug abuse. And now she's calling upon parents to get more involved to keep unauthorized disposable vapes from China from our kids. Nobody knows what's in them. Nobody's testing the quality again because they're illegal, so you don't have the FDA diving into what's actually in them. Back in 2020, the FDA started a crackdown on kid-friendly flavors, banning all flavors except menthol and tobacco from cartridge-based e-cigarettes. But the policy did not include disposables, prompting many teens to switch from one maker to a newer flavored product. The flavors, again, bubble gum, you know, I had a cupcake, you name it, mango. They're deliberately designed to go after our youth. Earlier this summer, the FDA conducted a nationwide inspection blitz of nearly 200 retailers targeting those who sell specifically Elf Bar and Escobar, as well as Breeze products. These e-cigs are among the most popular brand in the U.S. among teens aged 16 to 19. The agency also issued orders blocking imports of those three brands. But Bono said those companies only account for 15 percent of disposable sales last year and dozens of other other brands are still being sold. But we have seen kids overdose because they're laced with fentanyl. The kids don't know that when they buy them over the counter, but they can be laced with fentanyl. We're also finding dangerous levels of heavy metals in them. The data is showing that more kids are using these products. The FDA needs to take it seriously, and that's why we're here, to pressure them to recognize it's their job to enforce the law, go after these illegal products, and protect our kids. So if you want to reach out to the FDA as well as lawmakers to get rid of these illegal vapes, you can actually head to the website you see at the bottom of the screen there. It's called UniteForSmartPolicy.org.